Hey there, it's time to play. And going way back to my term at Foodies, um, I used to be sort of famous for my chicken pot pies, which had a puff pastry crust. And it's getting to be comfort food season, as we know. And I wanted to make a chicken pot pie, but I couldn't find a puff pastry crust. And then I was gonna use a regular crust. And then I came across those wonderful crescent roll dough sheets. And I had some a whole <laughs> bunch of ingredients on hand. This is gonna be a, a colorful chicken pot pie because I had um, tricolored rainbow potatoes, rainbow carrots, and some celery and some onions and some chicken thighs that I had cooked for another purpose, so I gotta use those. And so today, we're gonna make a colorful chicken pot pie. Let's go. We're gonna start by melting some butter in a skillet. Okay, we're getting nice and bubbly. And so now we're gonna add in celery, carrots, and onions. In we go. This is kind of a lot. I'm not sure we're going to need all this for this chicken pot pie. But then you can see the carrots are colorful. And I think at this time, I'm going to add in our potatoes, organic baby rainbow potatoes. That's kind of a big piece. And we are going to season these with some salt and pepper. And this is thyme, rosemary, and a little bit of basil chopped up from my garden. And those are nice chicken seasonings. Those are going in too. And in a little while, when they're softened, when these vegetables are softened, we're going to add some garlic. Our vegetables are nicely softened. And in goes a little bit of garlic. We're going to cook that down for about one minute till it's fragrant. Next comes a little sprinkle of all-purpose flour. We're going to make our gravy for our chicken pot pie. We're going to incorporate that with the vegetables and let that cook down for a minute or so to get that starchiness out of there. We are now ready for our chicken and as you can see I've reserved some of the juice that came out of the cooking, some of that cooking liquid, and that is going in. Along with a little more chicken stock. Whoa, all over the place. Let's see how we do there. You want to stir this constantly until it reaches your desired thickness for your chicken pot pie. And the next step will be to crust it and bake it. We're now ready to assemble our pot pie, our colorful chicken pot pie. We're gonna spray a baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're going to pour in our filling. Distribute it. What I've done is taken our crescent roll dough and cut it into strips. We're going to lay a layer of strips going this way, leaving a little space for air to escape. And now we're going to layer some strips going these away. And I could weave these in and out if I wanted to, but I don't. So. This is just going to puff up. So we have a nice little lattice done and we are going in the oven. It's going to be about 15 minutes or so, and let's see what it looks like when it comes out. Our colorful chicken pot pie is out of the oven. Uh, it was about 20 minutes, not 15, and as you can see, the edges are bubbly. The crust is nicely browned, and hard to tell. I don't know if you can see the inside, but 
we are going to cut it and have a piece. This is our colorful chicken pot pie. It came out of the pan pretty easily and stayed together for the most part. So the sauce was a good slice thickness. I wanna see if we can get an edge picture without making a mess, sorta. Of. But you can see the filling around the edges. And now we're gonna try a bite and bark. And here's what a bite looks like. Creamy and smells amazing. And when that cools down just a bit, we're gonna try it. Thank you for joining me. Here's a toast to comfort food. And it was fun to play. And I like using the uh, Pillsbury crust. Although I'm still gonna keep looking for puff pastry because I really miss that. It seems like it's a supply chain thing or something. But um, I guess we can take a bite of this. And we're going in. Mm. Making chicken pot pies. And I have a little story that I told somebody, one of my associates just recently, that um, the pies that I used to make every single day at Foodies and put them out for a hot dinner with the puff pastry crust, there was a woman in the deli one time, and many years ago, Oprah Winfrey went to a, uh, she was on vacation on Cape Cod, and she went to the Cape Cod Pie Company and tried their chicken pot pie, and she announced it as one of her favorite things. And one day I was putting out my chicken pot pies and this woman stopped by the deli and said, I love your chicken pot pies. She goes, oh, and by the way, my sister owns the Cape Cod Pie Company and I like yours better. So try it. <laughs>